Seconds out, round one. In those rather flashy red and black trunks, up against Sergio Martin Sosa, El Canaya they call him from San Martin and Buenos Aires in Argentina. But Zabek, well, we know how good he is. We know what Billy Nelson thinks of him. And he's on the front foot right away. He was a fine amateur. And moving into his 16th fight, Barry Jones, he's turning into a fine pro as well. Yeah, you know, he really is. He's so patient with his work, but effective with every shot. Economically fantastic. Every punch has a purpose with a reserve back. And, and, he was, and his last out, of course, he was massively impressive. Just going through the gears when and needed and getting that, that fantastic stoppage. They won last time against John Carter in Edinburgh, the Spaniard, a round three stoppage. Previous win was against Rukan Fernando Arce of Buenos Aires in Bolton. He does tend to get the job done inside the distance and look straight away at the accuracy of that southpaw jab. Just peppering there with that jab, looking for, for an opening there for that solid left hand. But a nice little uppercut there from Zerbeck. He does make his shots really well. This just the 82nd round of his pro career. He's still learning. He had over 350 amateurs. And Billy Nelson has done such a good job with Martin Bacoli. Of late, of course, a great job with Ricky Burns. Before that, Zarebeck, he feels, is on the fast track. But just the, his feet are fantastic because he's always pressurising, he always trying to make you feel uncomfortable, whether he's working or not. And when you advance, his judgment of the distance is so good, he takes half a step back, makes you fall short, and that makes you panic about throwing any punches. That, that tightens you up, slows you down, makes it easy for him to go to work. Billy Nelson is very, very confident of what he has got. He says he'd be more than comfortable seeing Zabek in with Joe Cordina tomorrow, if needs be. No need to rush, though. He keeps learning, but... I think the general feeling is they've got a star on their hands here and another really well-picked uppercut. Yeah, just before that, there was some loop in the cup, two loop in left hands that hit the target pretty clean there from Zerbeck. He's, he's almost ready to let go, I, I feel. I, he, is let, he is ready to let go. It's, just, it's, a, it's a division sort of void of a superstar, the, the, the super featherweight, but they're all quality operators at the highest level. Really good, really good fighters. That's a nice shot. Nothing coming back really from Sergio Martin Sosa, and they need to start looking up the levels, as Barry said, for Zabek. But there's, there's nothing coming back because, he, he, again, like I said, well, the judgment, this is defeat. He's made there, he makes you miss and makes you pay, and that's that's what just makes you too tender to let your hands go. You're in the tensing up, it slows you down. Corners 10 seconds. Seconds out, round two. Talk about Zabek's amateur career. We could talk for the entire fight about that. Had that amateur win against Robson Conceição in April 2016, ahead of Conceição winning the Olympic gold medal. And he now challenges Manuel Navarrete for that WBO super featherweight title. Terrific fight that, but that's the level Zabek fought at as an amateur. It doesn't always translate, but the sense you get from him in the early stages is that it might with him. Yeah, well, he's had the test through his career as well. He had, he had those fights, those learning fights. But he's had some decent tests to show that he can fight at a higher level. And I feel like, you know, he needs to have that step up now. He really does, and I think he's ready for it. I think he showed that against, against Carter in his last fight, you know, how effective he can be. And yeah, I, he's not far off the finished article here, Zerbeck. <laughs> and when someone with the experience of Billy Nelson says that at the weight, he's the best that he's ever trained. He told me that he beat both Scott Harrison and Ricky Burns in his view. Now, of course, you can get carried away in the moment and be prone to hyperbole, but tend to listen when Billy Nelson talks. There's a big shout there from Billy, to be fair, but just seeing a lovely little uh, left hand of the body there from Zerbeck, and that's, that's hurt Sosa. We can't get the lead with Johnny Shots, also goes back onto the rope. For the Sosa at the moment has got nowhere to go, and Zabek unloads. The pressure here is just relentless from Zabek. And right now, Sosa, a stationary target, and he's reduced really to wrestling. Sosa going to try and think before he throws. Maybe just um, 
something that maybe Reserva wouldn't be, wouldn't be expecting though at this point. But he's got to change his tact here. He's volunteered himself onto the ropes and then fighting back in straight lines is just too easy for Zabek to, to read. He just missed there with a, a booming left hook, but then the straight left hand from Zabek. Sosa has been in defensive mode, not always effectively for the whole fight so far. Lovely footwork there from Zabek. Little cut, I think, there on the right eye of Sosa. Or a graze, maybe, but yeah, he's getting systematically taken apart here, isn't he? He really is. Challenge for the vacant Argentine Super Bantamweight title. Last August, lost in that challenge. He's always lost when he stepped up. Only three defeats on his record. But then you wonder what the level of opposition has been. He knows his way around the ring, but he looks out of his depth here. In terms of size, having mainly operated at Super Bantam, and certainly in terms of quality. Yeah, the quality, clearly, but the size as well. You can see it. And you can see how comfortable and intimidating figure now Zerbeck is, having to just hold his feet. Not worry what's coming back. There's no real weight in the shot there. It's so certain. That fills Zerbeck with confidence. You can see it. Well, he is yet to get him out of there. Sosa is very, very tough. As we reach the end of this second round, it's turning into a masterclass, this, from Sultan Zabek. So here's the best action from that second round. Again with those looping left hands there from Zerbeck. He's swinging away and he looks almost crude, but he knows what's coming. He did take a little right hand there from, from Sosa, but he has Sosa's number now. It's just a, a looks at the man. Unless Sosa can change something, it just looks about what resistance and what toughness Sosa has. Ben Sackham! Ahead of him. Seconds out, round three. So round three. This mightily impressive Kazakh, the Kazakh King, Sultan Zabek. Lived with Billy Nelson since December the 4th, has two children back in Kazakhstan. Well, if living with Billy doesn't toughen you up, I don't know what will. You said that. <laughs> Currently dealing, of course, with Martin Bacoli. He's got that great relationship with him. He was stung in the mouth, wasn't he, by a wasp during that uh, recent fight in, uh, in Jeddah. He looked a monster in Jeddah, he really did. Very impressive. As, as is Zerbeck right here now again. Doesn't waste a shot, does he? Yeah, it's always worth asking Billy the, the story of when uh, Martin Bacoli fought Michael Hunter at the York Hall, the fight that was live on uh, on Channel 5 and what went on before it. It was such a, a disappointing display. Hunter was so good that night, but so much had gone on. Bacoli's backstory, and it's great to see him. Uh, Back again, really. Interesting to see where he goes. He's very, very talented. As is this guy, Sultan Zabek. Yeah, the way he's, when he throws that jab, that soft ball jab, there, he just takes his right foot on the outside. So when he throws that left hand, it's right down the centre of the track. And he's also he's on the he's on the blind side of your your left hand jab. You can't fire back. World Youth Silver, Zabek, Asian Youth Champion as well. All of the credentials. That time we had another exciting Kazakh in boxing, isn't it? Yeah, we're doing aren't we? Just be honest, we're doing. Did you, did you, did you produce quality? That's for sure. Again, the thing we do back, and, and the, there's a criticism that it's sort of been labelled throughout his career about this, just not going through the gears quick enough, possibly. But again, he's, he's a thinker, he's patient, and he waits until the time's right before he really pulls the trigger. But it is so fascinating to see a fighter like him that we've watched a few times who just feels like he's on the brink of moving up in levels and you don't know do you you have an idea billy's obviously got an idea of how good he is but you don't know and watching him start to move up is going to be absolutely fascinating because as you said it feels like he's ready now yeah but what's been evident with him recently i would have thought is the physical strength i don't mean the power in the punches the physical strength his presence in the ring is bigger than it used to be and that's because you know, he's 27, always maturing a little bit more, and, and, he, and, he, and he feels that he has that man strength, that we, we call it, for the want of a better word. And you can see it's evident, you know, he used to move around more than, than he does now. Now he, he wants to be the buddy, the boss in there. 
Doing a lot of good work to the body, and Sosa shrugging his shoulders. He's not, he's not committing with the shots here, is it, Beck? He's not really punching through the target like he was in the, in, in the previous round. I wonder whether he's trying to encourage Sosa on a little bit. Oh, 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 So let's see now if the foot does go on the gas from Sultan Zabek. There hasn't been a great deal coming back so far. But to be fair to Zabek, you know, if he wants to, you know, he, he wants those bigger fights. He wants to, you know, to get close to a shot of a world title. But in fights like this, where you're dominating, you have to start trying to impress. You just can't go through the motions and be comfortable with dominating in a fight where. You're not getting the job really done. It's set up for him now to really we'll put on a display. All the fights now leading up to, to, you know, to for one of the people to call your name out. And, to people for other, and also for the public to want to see you in those bigger fights, you have to you know, sell yourself. You have to be safe for this, I'm sure you can win the fight, but it's clear that, that, he can, that he's the boss and he's dominating. And now it's his time to, as you said, go through the gears. Show us what you have. And that right to the body and then that right uppercut, right hand from Sosa in reply. Sosa has three knockouts on his record, he's not exactly blessed with huge power, nothing that should trouble Zabek, beautifully tied left uppercut there from the Kazakh. He felt that, didn't he, Sosa, right on the button, that was there from Zabek. Again, again, hooked it, around the guard there as well with great accuracy. But I just think this, the second phase of the attack should have been quicker. Should have followed it almost, almost morphed into the one, the, the same attack. Just allowing Sosa just a little bit of breathing space here, and he just needs that's better. Sosa's been moving backwards for most of the fight, of course. It's interesting the way, as Barry's pointed out, Zaubek started here it was real ferocity. That was a good shot to the body from Zaubek. Doubling up that southpaw jab. Just needs a step in behind that jab there, no Zerbeck. Just a big shot, flurry with, with a few light the wings, then, then move on the tag like he did so well, then load up with the, with the, with the last shot. Oh, that's one! Beautiful two, time, right hook three, from Zerbeck. Four! So, five, so walked six, onto that. Seven! <laughs> eight! And he wants to show he's OK. Mark Bates has had quite enough of that. Good shot, though. It was a lovely time shot. I think he was off balance. I think he threw, he threw a shot himself and squared his, foot, his feet up. There's Sosa. Again, let's look at it. You should see the size of his kind of the physical presence there. To... It's a chopping right hand, you know. That certainly affected him. You could see the legs dip there. Oh, he's trying to get that up through the middle there, Zerbeck. Look that foot on the outside as well, trying to... Hide the shot there from Sosa. So here's some of that action for you, Barry. Oh, they've got a little, little shout come to there from Zerbeck. Again, just you know, always concentrating, taking his time. Just is a little kiss, a little gap there. He was, he was a little square footed there, Sosa, but the timing of the shot was absolutely beautiful. Really good work. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out, Significantly slower, round getting off five. his stool here, Sosa. I think this is starting to wear him down. And that is another thing, of course, with all of this pressure from Zaubek. It doesn't have to be single shots, it can be this cumulative pressure. Suddenly those three minutes that stretch out in front of you feel like a lifetime. Yeah, they can, when your back's against the wall, when you're struggling, they, they, it's, the, it's a feel like eternity in there sometimes. It's been a hard night already, isn't it? It's been, you know, he's, he's had four rounds only, but it's been four rounds of, of punishment here from Zerbeck. Again, and there's also that, you can't, 
when you've got a person who's, who's always pressurizing you with that front foot, you just can't regulate your breathing enough, so you're punching out of necessity rather than when you're ready to punch. There's a real difference with the rhythm in your work, the tension that you feel, and now all that tires you up and slows you down. I think he should just step, really step in with that jab. He's, he's trying to touch it to, to draw Sosa up. I think if he just if he really steps behind that jab, it's strong enough to push Sosa up, to lift him up almost. Then he throw that left the That guard remains high. Again, Zabek looking for that huge booming uppercut. Go disguise that leg and all that uppercut. Maybe whip the left hook the, around the body first, then come up with the uppercut. He's starting to move around the target a little bit here, Zabek using that footwork. Bad bit of movement there from Sosa. Going to have a lot of trouble there. Now they're able to do what he wants here, really. A little stumble there from the Kazakh, but he soon recovered his balance. Just, like, just change the tempo a little bit of his punches. Just feel like so so even he can't do nothing. He can cover it up and just tent, just brace himself for the attacks. You just, you know, just change the levels, just change the tempo of some of your work, and that, that might surprise him. You just slip him through the middle. Well, it was Sosa's best punch of the fight. That left hook landed. Jack. Might just spark Zabek into action. Just 10 seconds remaining here in round number five. For all the dominance, a slightly frustrating night at this point for Sultan Zabek. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out, round six. Sultan Zabek's been based in the UK since he turned pro, was coached by Angel Fernandez, then and lived in Sutton, was then with Dave Caldwell. And she was on the floor against Nicolas Botelli. The first time Dave Caldwell was in his corner. Right hand counter. And uh, actually the journey with Billy Nelson. Started with a message on Billy's phone that simply said, hello bro. And then the relationship blossomed. He's cooking his feet up here, isn't he, Zerbeck? And again, second beat, no. I don't think the riot act was necessarily red, but I think Billy told him to get on with it. No, no, no. Well, you can only say it if you, if you know it's in him, and it clearly is. One, oh, that. two, three, from four. Five, six, the so I think seven, on the top eight. Of his left eye there. Well, he wants to continue. Mark Bates, I think, is going to just about let in, but still just under two minutes in the round. And look at this, Sosa is right on the back foot, and I think he's ready to go here. Chopping right hand from Zabek. Referee's had a good look at this. That left hook just... Dip the legs oh, again of Sosa, and he steps in, and he stops it. And Zabek gets a 16th win, and gets a 12th win by stoppage. And you can see the battered face of Sergio Martin Sosa, the bravery there, but it was all about the brilliance of Sultan Zabek. In that round, he really went to work. I thought it was a really good body shot. It feels there, but I think it's, I think actually there's a, there's a bump on the left eye. Just a bit of the left side there, so I think that's causing a bit of pain. Done from a punch, of course. It looks like a body shot, but I think it's, it's above the eye. You can see the real, real swelling there, just above the eyebrow. And that's it, so it's all those meaty, those meaty right hooks. And then a flurry there, he wasn't fighting back, he wasn't fighting back for most of the fight, but already hurt and down, and the referee did the right thing to step in. The main thing is, he showed flashes of brilliance. He's still got stuff to work on, I would say that, about, about consistency with his ring management. He can make it 
official now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Timekeeper ringside, John Smith records one minute, 24 seconds of round number six, the official end of this contest. Referee Mark Bates has stopped the bout. In his professional opinion, Sergio Martin Sosa is in no position to defend himself. The official decision is a TKO. Leaving the ring tonight, crowned as the new WBO Global Super Featherweight Champion, the Kazakh King, Sultan Zabek. Keep your eye on Sultan Zabek, moves to 16-0 and might be about to move up the levels as well.